I think consciousness and contemplative studies are really important now, probably more than any other time in history in some ways. Probably three main reasons. One is, in the modern world, distraction. We're so buried in our technology and uh, so many things going on that we're actually becoming more and more distracted and, and less aware of where we are and what we're doing. The second thing is disconnection. Many people are feeling more and more isolated rather than connected to broader community, let alone connected to <laughs> all of humanity. And the third thing is disheartened. And what I mean by that is that mental health has actually been in decline for a long time. So stress, depression, anxiety actually going up. So people are needing practical solutions where they can actually help themselves. I suppose they're the three things, distraction, disconnection, and being disheartened and hopefully we can address some of those issues. The Centre for Consciousness and Contemplative Studies, or N3CS as we call it, has as its mission to promote our common humanity through interdisciplinary research, through innovative practice-based education, and through community engagement and engagement with industry partners and organisations. M3CS is a unique centre in so far as it brings together, you know, the consciousness and contemplative traditions. Now, consciousness has been studied in various disciplines, contemplative traditions as well as science, as well as philosophy, are at bottom, you know, a product of our rational thinking. We do this through interdisciplinary research that brings together experts from medicine, from psychology, from neuroscience, physiology and philosophy and the humanities to work together to provide better solutions to the many challenges that confront us as individuals, communities and as a planet as a whole. Research is a really important aspect of what we do. So we don't want to just do things without demonstrating do they work, how do they work, to actually understand what's going on in the background. So research, um, a very broad interdisciplinary research agenda. So there's a team of devoted researchers who have been in this space for many, many years. There is a team of new researchers who are joining them in innovative ways to create new research. My research at the center uh, focuses on the connection between the mind and the body. Um, so I'm particularly interested in the way that bodily states influence our mental processes and our conscious experience. On the education side of things, there's how can we bring contemplative practices, perennial wisdom, into the training of our future generations. So there's education, of course, the wider community as well. The flagships are the elective units, true happiness and meaningful life. So the things that you learn in this unit, I think are quite important because they pair not only the academic and scientific content regarding awareness and happiness, but also sort of practical applications that you can take out into the rest of your life, such as, such as formal meditation or reflective journaling. For me as a researcher, it's super exciting to be able to have this opportunity as a philosopher to come in into this really interdisciplinary space where a lot of research is happening, where also more traditional philosophical work is happening, and again to interact with researchers of different stripes from different disciplines and working on really different topics. And then community engagement. We don't want to be a cloistered sort of place just sitting here or by itself. We want to really engage not just with the wider university and the community in Australia, but also around the world as well. Community engagement is central to our vision. I think it's one of the things that makes us really, really innovative. Not only are we building on lived cultural traditions of the different faith and cultural communities, but we're also seeding new work in cultural practice, in music, dance, cooking, and the arts to encourage contemplative practice within the broader community. We're bringing together scholars, artists, cultural practitioners, and members of the community to make this an exciting and innovative space. And one thing I'd say about the, the centre is that is the culture and the people that are gravitating towards the centre. That's one of the most exciting things in these dialogues that are opening up, but people that are really passionate and really interested in what they're doing and want to actually inform and, and create these conversations and take their work out to the university and into the wider world. It strengthens the networks between different academics from different disciplines and perspectives, as well as strengthening its ties with the community who is interested in developing themselves by learning more about spiritual practices from different world traditions. 
The M3CS teaching staff have been unlike any teaching staff that I've experienced in any other unit. They really know all of us as people rather than just as students and have just developed really authentic connections with us throughout the semester. A part of the responsibility of the university, and Monash takes this very seriously, is that when students graduate, they graduate with better mental health and wellbeing than when they came into the university. And it's clear from day one that Craig and the other instructors are genuinely compassionate people who have an interest in not only helping their students achieve academically, but also to live happier lives. A lot of knowledge does not always solve the problems. What we need is a change of heart as well in the way we connect to ourselves and to others, and in particular to the environment and the planet as such. And the centre hopes to give that opportunity to young people, to students and, and to staff and communities.